Hi, thanks for coming back to the chopping block. I've got another surplus plate here from Sawyer Lawrence. Um, I will post his contact information in the doobly-doo as well as the label information and all that and I'll throw up a photograph of the label on this. But this one is labeled Ballistic Protection Systems Europe and Bennett Safety Wear Limited. Uh, this is a, obviously all polyethylene plate. And if you know much about armor, you know that polyethylene plates can be perforated by M855. What I wanted to see though is whether or to what degree velocity plays a role in that. So I shot this one with M855 from a 14 and a half inch barrel. Let's take a look. Alright, so there's impact. There's the back side. Looks like it's torn. But question is, did it go through? And it doesn't seem like it did. These were all here from previous tests. there because that's already all shot to hell. But this, that tells a story. Nothing came through. So that's where I went in. There's a bulge. Definitely stopped. You can feel it. Bulge that armor quite a bit. Pushed on the gel a bit. There you have it. Okay, so obviously velocity does play a significant role in it. You can see there that it just happens that that 14 and a half inch barrel is right at the edge of the velocity rating for this, that, that it's probably dead on the V50 because one shot was stopped cold by the plate itself. The other shot just barely made it through the plate and was stopped by the soft armor. This plate is ridiculously light. I actually couldn't find my scale. I'll throw the weight up there as soon as I find my scale. But it is insanely light. And of course it has to be worn with soft armor behind and that increases the weight somewhat. But it's a pretty cool plate. I wouldn't mind having a few of these. As always, thanks for watching. If you think I got something wrong, make sure you leave a comment below. Have a great day. Good.